What is up, you guys? It's me again, back at it. So, as promised, here we are. Reasons. Here is my reasons why Don Mancini suck. Reasons why Don Mancini sucks as a director. Now, first of all, his directorial debut, of course, was Seed of Chucky. And you guys all know, I hate that piece of shit. Fuck that movie. Fuck Seed of Chucky. Then he did Curse of Chucky, which got it back on track, and we were all like, yes, he's finally getting it back on track, he's getting it right again, and then Cult of Chucky came around. Now, at first, when I first saw Cult of Chucky back in 2017, I was with the guys, I was like, yeah, Cult of Chucky's badass, hell yeah, multiple Chucky's, let's go. But then, as time has gone on, all the problems in Cult of Chucky started to happen. First of all, you know, the rules. This is where Don Mancini pretty much throws out all the rules that we have been following since 1988. The rules in the child's play, mainly the big rule that the longer that he stays in the doll, the more human he becomes. He pretty much also ditched the... He pretty much also ditched the whole, you know, him wanting to get back into a human body thing. He pretty much ditched that. You know, which, which, okay, but, like, I still miss those days, you know, because he had an actual goal that he was trying to achieve. Like, you know what I mean? And plus the whole multiple Chucky's thing, like I said before, the multiple Chucky's thing was a great idea, was a really great idea, something new to, and fresh to bring to the franchise. But it creates the one major big plot hole in the franchise that why isn't that the burnt hand one doesn't feel any pain, or the one that literally lost his arm, you know, when he shoved it, you know, right down uh, Madeline's throat, right? And why isn't the arm socket bleeding? Why isn't there blood coming out of him? And why is it that when the short hair gets, Chucky gets killed by Andy, right? Why is it? Why is it that he's the one that has all the blood and guts, but not the other two? Again, plot hole. Plot hole. Destroying the rules in the franchise. Then you move on to the TV series. Which, and it's revealed in the TV series that, you know, season one of the TV series that Tiffany was apparently the one that called Detective Mike on Chucky back when he was human. When, no, it was... It was Sarah, Nika's mother, that called the cops on Chucky, not Tiffany. The, so, yeah, that's another one that Don Mancini decided to, you know, throw in there. And with the whole multiple Chucky's thing, it's way more easier to kill him now. Like, some of them die instantly. Like, a lot of them just die instantly, you know. And again, no bleeding, no, you know... You know what I mean, guys? And like, and like, then you move on to season two, of course. And of course, you guys already know my thoughts on season two. But like, but like, he turns up Jennifer Tilly and Tiffany to be this like whiny, like ultra ditzy style, you know, like killer and stuff. Like, it's just way too much, man. Way too much, you know, like dial it back. And the humor from Chucky, it's just not. It's it's not that badass, you know, one-liner here, one-liner there style humor, you know, um, anymore, you know, like we got, like we got back to that with Curse, and we, he had some really good lines in Colt, and some lines in the TV series are funny, but like, it's like way more comedic, way more comedy Chucky, which I do not want. I want the scary badass Chucky again. I don't want, you know, with... You know, with some one-liners here and there, like we got in the first three movies, like we got in Curse of Chucky. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, though. And like, plus, like, and like, plus, you know what I mean? And like, so yeah, guys, I mean, Don Mancini, let somebody take over directing chair. You could still write, obviously. But, like, let somebody else take over as the director. Get Tom Holland back. Or, heck, get...
get the guy that directed Child's Play 3 back. Or get Ronnie Hugh back, the guy that directed Bride of Chucky. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like I mean, like Don Mancini, you know what I mean? It's like he doesn't care what the fans want anymore. You know what I mean? Obviously, he heard our outcries with Seed of Chucky. And then he fixed it with Curse of Chucky. But then why go back and why, you know, screw up the rules, screw up continuity? You know what I mean, guys? Like, like, Don Mancini, like, why? Like, why, man? Why? But anyway, guys, those are just my thoughts on why I think that Don Mancini, reasons why Don Mancini is a, it sucks as a director, not as a writer, no. Not as a writer, but as a director, because of what he did to the franchise. Yeah, it's just, who knows if it'll ever get back on track. I really am hoping it does with season three, though. I have my fingers crossed that he's at least able to get somewhat back on track with season three. But I have, like, not much hope, really. And, like, you know what I mean, guys? But, like, yeah, though, season but like, yeah, guys, those are just my reasons as to why Don Mancini sucks as a director. He needs to get somebody to help him, you know, you know, get the rules back on track, you know, get, make continuity, make sense again. Stop throwing the rules out the window like they were trash. Just stop doing that, Don Mancini, please. Just stop. Anyway, guys, let me know your guys' thoughts about this down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Keep on slashing and have a chucktastic day.